there's a lot of information out there on what you should feed chickens. And to a lesser extent, there's quite a bit of information on what to feed ducks. But there's very little information on what you should feed your geese. So that's what I'm going to cover in today's video. I'll show you the geese feed in a minute, but first I gotta fill up their water. The ducks and geese need a lot of water. I'm actually a big fan of these half barrel waterers we made. They're way better than the kiddie pools and more durable too. So I'm done with water. I use about 25 gallons in the morning to fill up their three waterers. Now it's time to feed them, let's go get the food. So I'm in the feed shed now and it's time to get the grain. So in the morning they get about one quart of this scratch mix. It's like corn and oats and some other stuff, but no oyster shells in it because apparently too much calcium is bad for geese. That's what I've heard. Then I add about two and a half quarts of extra egg layer pellet. It's the stuff from Blue Seal. And lastly, they get three quarters of a quart of black oil sunflower seeds. And that's it for morning feed. Now the amount of feed you feed your birds will vary depending on how many you have. But the ratio is one and a half parts scratch feed, two and a half parts extra egg layer pellet, and three quarters of a part black oil sunflower seed. So I've got all the grain in the bucket. Now before I feed them, I just need to shake it so it's all mixed together so that way they don't have like all of one type of grain in one bowl. This way it's all good and mixed for them, so let's do that. There we go, it's all good and ready to feed them. So I have four of these heavy duty rubber bowls from Tractor Supply and I split up their food evenly more or less between the four of them. Now you may have noticed that I added their food into the bowls before I let them out and that's because I actually have one more ingredient I feed them. It's this, it's brewer's yeast and I mix in a little over a tablespoon into each bowl in the morning. I give the geese brewer's yeast because it is rich in niacin, which is important to geese. In the summertime, they can get plenty of niacin from all the grass, but this time of year, I supplement their feed with the brewer's yeast, and it really helps them lay more and keeps them healthier. And it's fine for the ducks too. I feed this feed that I'm giving to the geese to the ducks as well, because they live together, and both the ducks and the geese are thriving on it, so I'm very happy with it. I just sprinkle it on top of each one. Now brewer's yeast can be a little pricey, but it's worth the cost. If you get the brewer's yeast that also has garlic, it's a lot more pricey, but this stuff's like four bucks a pound. So the food's all ready for the ducks and geese, but every day before I let them out in the morning, I walk the whole perimeter of the fence, just making sure everything's fine and making sure everything's good for them to come out. The nice thing about raising waterfowl is you only need to shovel enough snow to get the door open because with their webbed snowshoe-like feet, they just pack all the rest of the snow down. Now it's time to let the ducks and geese out and let them eat. I finished up school for the day now and I'm coming out here to do the afternoon check on the animals and I give the ducks and geese the rest of their grain now actually. So the reason I feed the ducks and geese in the afternoon and morning instead of giving them all their food at once is I have several squirrels that have been getting in there and eating their food if they don't eat it all right away. So by feeding them in the morning and then again in the afternoon, it kind of breaks up when they're getting their food. So they'll eat it all sooner, hypothetically, and leave less for the squirrels to get. Because it's not my job to feed the squirrels and the ducks and geese need the food more than they do. Earlier in the video, you might have heard a noise of like a big truck. Well, that's because our log guy came and he was dropping off a grapple load of logs for us to cut up for firewood this winter. So that's why he heard it. I also check for eggs at afternoon chores too. So let's see if there's any here. As you can see, I've got a goose that's kind of gone a little broody sitting on the nest here. Yeah, there's an egg. Last year when I had a broody goose, I did let her sit on the eggs. But by the end of it, there were three geese sitting on the nest 
and they managed to crush all four duck eggs that were under there. And then they also killed the one gosling that hatched out naturally under them. They squashed it because they just didn't have good parenting instincts. So after that experience, I don't let them hatch out their own eggs anymore. I don't give these guys brewer's yeast in the afternoon because I give them all they need in the morning and it would be kind of hard seeing as they're all attacking the feeders as they dump the feed in. Now I didn't catch this earlier, but there was a goose sticking their head under there and they were eating something. And that's because the geese need to eat sand to help them with their digestion. So since it stays relatively thawed under there, they can get the sand they need from there. And I don't need to give them sand as like a supplement, which is also a plus. I've tried feeding these guys many different types of grains, including just like layer pellet. And I lost some birds because it wasn't vitamin rich enough. I've tried soaked grains and they did really well on it, but it was just a lot of work and they're doing just fine on this, especially with adding the brewer's yeast. I think that's really important for their egg production and just the general health of the birds. For my 22 birds, 12 geese and 10 ducks, getting five quarts of extra egg layer pellet, two quarts of scratch feeds, and about a quart and a half of black oil sunflower seed is really good for them. Um, I'm not giving them free choice on their grain because their type of breeds are good meat birds and they would probably get too fat and unhealthy if I gave them free choice. Right now, limiting their grain to the eight and a half quarts a day like I'm doing, they're thriving on it and then I'm sure I'm gonna need to tweak it come this summer when they're gonna be able to eat more from the grass on the pasture, but I'm very happy for this for the winter feed and I would recommend that to anyone. I'm trying to talk here, can you find Oh. When I was talking there, I looked over and I found two goose eggs that they laid on the ground. I don't remember seeing them there yesterday, so I'm gonna assume these are new today. So I'll take these in and add them to the pile to incubate. Last year, the geese laid a lot of their eggs outside when they were out here during the day, but they haven't so far this year until today. So I'm gonna have to keep my eyes out and check in here. And a little nest right in here. Troublesome geese, huh? And you also might be wondering what I feed these little guys. Well, I'll show you that too. So they get multi flock crumble. It's a blue seal feed. It looks like this. With waterfowl, it's important to not feed them medicated grain because apparently it can kill them. Multi flock is non medicated grain, so it's fine to feed them. And then I sprinkle in a little bit of brewer's yeast for the same reason as I give it to the adults. It's got lots of niacin in it. It's good for them. And it's very important for the development of young goslings and ducklings too for that matter. So I just sprinkle it in and then mix it like that. And now I put it in the cage form. Here you go guys. Come on. Sorry for the noise here in the basement, but while I was editing this video, I came across something pretty neat as far as the brewer's yeast goes. It's this. My dad picked up this bag of brewer's yeast for six bucks. So that's like a dollar a pound, which is significantly better than the stuff I was getting in the bucket. So from now on, I'm just gonna buy this stuff in the unlabeled bag. The uh, guy at the feed store told him that it's the exact same stuff as the stuff in the buckets, except this stuff's like way cheaper. So I'm gonna be using this from now on. Stop recording.